All right, so as we move on, we're going to continue our header. Now, again, as we talked about, we're going to do a uh, alarm summary. So we're going to come up here to our objects. We're going to come down to alarms in event, and then we're going to go to summary. We're going to draw this out just like this. Have this there. And now in these settings, we're going to adjust these settings. So what I want to do is actually show you the, the columns that you need to have checked. So if you recognize this right here has is very, it's not very legible, right? Uh, so we're going to change this in this instance where we're just going to use it on the top header, right? We're not going to use it anywhere else. Um, now, in a, if you were going to use it on a, uh, a separate screen, you would want all of these checkboxes. But we're going to eliminate all these checkboxes. Okay. So we're going to keep it just like that. We're going to apply. But first, we want to adjust some of our other features, right? So we want to verify that our fonts and stuff of this nature is fine. Uh, let's get this change this font to like a 12 maybe. Uh, and the only reason I'm changing the font to a 12 is so it's legible. Uh, at an 8.2, it's not very legible, so uh, I just want to keep it that way, right? So make sure make sure it's nice and legible, so when alarm pops up, you can see it, and it's easy. The font we're going to keep it small 16 because again we're changing it here on the row size and stuff of that nature. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that so you see how this changes just by changing those settings right here right so you see how that changes so now we go to our columns and in our columns we want to change some of the stuff that's going to pop up as well we really only want two things in our instance we want to know when the alarm happens right we want to know the time that it happened so the time is critical right here the event time we don't really care about priority we don't really care about that's just giving you the indication whether it's a priority what priority it was the alarm name um, in this case it would give you you know this gives you kind of an instance of you know how this would look uh, we just want these two we want the in uh, alarm time and we want the message okay so we're going to check those box and then we're going to go to a toolbar toolbar is completely fine we're going to leave that because again we eliminated that over here uh the status uh again the status there's a couple things uh we may come back and change on this but for right now we'll leave it like this the more more important thing is right here uh we want to change our scope so in here we're going to add filters and stuff like that uh, if you have a big application, this is where you would add filters. In our case, we really don't need a filter because we only have one application. We only have one shortcut. We're only doing one thing, so we don't have multiple things. If you have multiple things, you would add filters in here based upon what you add. You would add new ones. You would say if display equals this, then this. Now, in the, sh in the, the whole connection of the, all of this, how we connect the alarms and events summary to actually read our ALMDs that we are going to program. We're going to program them in our control logics processor, right? To, to be able to read these alarms, we need to tie the, uh, the data server, which is our, our the, in our case, it's a data server, but uh, we want to call the factory talk links. We want to make a connection here. So we're going to go into here. We're going to browse. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to click data server. And just that simple, we're going to apply. That's all we need to do at this point. Okay, we don't need to do anything else. We're not going to add any kind of other events or other sources. It's just that simple. This is as simple and efficient as it has. We want to use this, and we don't need anything as states and start and all, all this other stuff because we're not using it. We're using it as a display and not as an interactive feature. If you're using it as an interactive feature, then you would use all of these over here. Um, meaning if you had it as a full screen, right? So generally speaking, you would have this as a full screen. So uh, with that said, let's kind of resize this. So it gets, and that may be where we, we change the buffer, right? So let's open this up a little bit. Maybe the uh, background um, right here see the background oh, let's change that to white 
maybe that'll help background white maybe that'll help so what I'm trying to do is get the edges um, a nice good indication let's see position top uh, want to get the edges where they're so the height control this height uh, see if the height changing the height will help it it didn't seem to help it at all so put that back now this is the appearance so everything we do here is the appearance you can have classic you can plant packs so if you wanted to have it look like plant packs you could have it look like plant packs or plant p-a-x that is the proper pronunciation for that um, in this indication so the line grid I think that's this is what we need let's see so I'm just trying to get rid of this alarm this little buffer here which is fine I mean it, it, it really doesn't it's just a factor of it's more of an aesthetic thing and maybe we'll come back and do that a little bit later but there's there's some font things you can do here as far as let's see background text header let's see change this background text that's good I don't I don't really see it right now but again when it comes down to it this is just the factor of uh, let's see yeah that's fine uh, for the sake of time we'll keep it just like it is it's just, it looks just as good um, the main thing is you can read the alarm in the event that happens again uh, but again we do want to kind of get this to a good uh, indication but when it comes down to it let's come down here and this is the way it would look so that we want to make sure that this icon is legible so it doesn't seem to be right now so let's actually expand this little bit more actually I did the wrong thing let's go back and change this back to here and let's just lower that down so I can get this the right size that see if that looks better and then we'll hit play and that does look a little bit better gives us a little bit better icon I think it, it you know it, it represents that better so let's drag this down just a little bit and that looks a little bit better drag it down just a little bit more and that looks that much more better alright so right now we have uh, we don't have a connection to anything so that's exactly why we're, we're seeing that but this will in turn show our alarms and events now we are done officially done with our you know our header so what we want to do now keep this in mind we don't have a footer but in the instance of what you're doing you want to if you wanted to have a footer you would do the same thing you would come over here you would change the backing you would change this to again 1280 and a height of 90 and then change this color we're just changing the color again and then size this properly just like we did the other one and then update time roughly around there so all we're doing is giving the same instance and we'll save this and we'll call this footer uh, now the footer what we're gonna do to let's can cancel that let's go over here so now it comes in here so the footer what we're gonna do is have this on the very bottom but this would be an indication where you would have like uh, navigation Unless you would have a button so we're only gonna have one screen on this so I don't know that we're gonna have we may end up having a second screen but right now we're gonna start off with one screen because this does actually show so let's save our footer but this uh, does actually show the indication of what we're actually building so for everything we're gonna be doing on this batching station this is really all we need so what we need to do now is come back and utilize some stuff right so we're gonna actually go in and make a macro which is going to be calling the header and the footer now in the instance of doing this header and footer and calling it and then we're going to go ahead as soon as we make the macro on the very next video what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the uh, cl the client itself and then run it to test everything so with that being said we actually did the you know instance of finishing up our header 
we actually tested that to make sure everything is working and come back and did that then we made our footer just like we did before we made that nice and quick now on the very next video we're going to come back in and again we're going to come in here and make a macro and i'm going to show you that how you know how to make a macro how to use a macro and then we're going to go ahead and call that when we make our client so that way it will call the top screen to call the bottom screen and then utilize everything from there so um, on the very next video we'll go ahead and do that so we'll see you guys on the next one